Hey guys, it's Sky from Sky Nations with a quick video. Um, before you ask what you're seeing here, this is just a start of custom zombie map that I'm making. Um, and I've done the spot start points. This is like just one giant room that I'm going to build up. But I've got a little problem, guys, and I was hoping that you all can maybe be able to help me if any of you know. Like, uh, for example, in here, um, I've done a lot of detail. Is it because this is meant to be like an armory, and I've done tried to design it like um, the guy who's working there got attacked. Oh. Let me get control. Anyway, it got attacked and um, got obliterated before, and I've done a lot of detail in there. Uh, there's going to be better wall colours and stuff like that. I've done all the spawns, the lightings, and all that. I've done the windows. Um, I've done um, it's a zombie pathing path from both ends. There's no zombie pathing path in here uh, for now until I finish the rest of it up so I can actually do it. Um, I'm thinking that's what this figure is there, guys. It's just. Um, so I get an eye level rough view of where everything's going to be and stuff like that. But I'm going to jump into the game and I'm going to show you what is my problem. So see you in a bit guys. Hey guys, we're back into the game and I'm going to now boot up my map. So whilst I'm talking, um, sorry I haven't been uploading much lately. Um, it's just been trying to get uni sorted and stuff like that. And I've been actually enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, spelling already wrong. Uh, so it's been quite fun. Uh, I've made a few good friends and stuff like that. It's just really weird from school and college and stuff like that. It's, com it's, it's a big change around from how I'm used to it and things like that. Because I'm just used to being in set rules of what you can and can't do. And it's really weird. But anyway, now we're into the game. Look. Oh well. That's come up with colour. Whatever. None of these have colour. Yeah, if I shoot at it, it brings the colour up. Like, for example, take this guy who I use as thing, shoot and his colours come up. Um, as I said, I haven't done the zombie path thing for everywhere, but I was hoping one of you guys could sort of try and help me understand why it is that what's going on is going on. Because um, it's really confusing the fuck out of me, to be fair. But... Whilst I'm on this, I'm just going to quickly show you what I have done for now. So, like, that goes up there for 500, and you've got the mystery box. Um, there's going to be, like, a kitchen and all sorts. This is meant to be, uh, the design of it is meant to be, like, an underground uh, bunker. And, what? 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 Nope. There. Whatever. Anyway, it's meant to be, like, a secret underground bunker that, um, unfortunately, because everyone's on the zombies on the top ground, we've gone to underneath. And, oh, you're dying already. Anyway, so yeah, we've all gone to live underground and now they've broken their way in. Or, or I was going to write it as some of the people have turned, hence why. The person in here has got killed. Or the other story of it was that the only survivors found this secret base underground and have now started defending it. And as you can see there, there's like the PP... I've got bouncing bays there, and it's 2,000 to go in because the PP is ridiculously powerful. So I thought, well, I was going to charge. Like, you can just see the blood pull, the hand, the foot, and then the torso and stuff. I wish I could have twisted that guy's hand down, but I couldn't. I was going to put a bloody guy over the fe over the actual um, desk, but I just thought that would be a bit weird, to be fair. Um but yeah, if any of you can actually tell me what the hell's wrong, because this has actually been winding me up. Because earlier, it was completely fine. No joke. There was colour, there was everything. There was nothing. I mean, yeah, look, guys, um, you might be saying, well, why are they in here? Because there's no path in. They get to come so far for some weird reason. And after that, there's no helping you. They just fuck up. So, I sort of don't. I'm not asked about that for now. Because I'm going to fix it later, but. I was hoping for some ideas off you guys on what you think would be quite smart, what would be quite cool to do in this map and stuff like that. Because I will try and do it. I am going to try and put extend the room bigger by getting putting like doors to go out and stuff like that. Uh, sorry guys, I don't... Uh, <laughs> I might be right there at the moment. It's just it's a bit hard to explain what's in my head for what I'm doing. Because I've played so many zombie maps and I just do not like many of them. Uh, but I do. I just find the starting map room is way too small. I know the reason for that is to go out, but I like to have a nice big room so I can actually build up a lot of points at the start of the round. Well, that's why I liked, um, what map was that? I can't remember what map, guys, it was, but there was a lot of room at the beginning and I enjoyed that 
because I had a lot of areas I could run to, a lot of areas I could stick to basically at the beginning to earn enough points before I moved on which is the sort of thing I enjoy because I don't like to have to be moving around a lot on a map at the beginning when I don't even know the map I like to be able to earn a lot of points, get a crawler and go exploring that's why I, when I played some guys custom map I really did enjoy it because there's so much room at the beginning I earned a lot of points and then I was able to go um, checking out the rest of the map after which was really fun actually to be fair and anyway I'm gonna, I put the two sp I'm going to be putting more windows and everything into the map at a later date but not right now because as you can see I'm designing it up because in the back of here I know this is the, the um, inventory area because it would be very easy to defend if you think about it you got your PP in there only one way in but I'm going to design it so zombies can climb over this and there's going to be a zombie wall at the back that's going to get activated as soon as you what's the word enter so don't think it'll be easy guys for you just to defend one area I'm going to be thinking of every way I can make it a pain to play so sort of like not a bad pain but oh my TV's about to shut off uh, not a bad thing just a, re a good thing I just want to make it really challenging but at the same time fun I'm going to put some really cool easter eggs in it because I've I've got I've got the perks off uh, Black Ops Two and stuff ready to be putting in, so I know I'll be doing that at some point. Uh, cause as you can see, I've got any perks at the moment here, and I'm going to be putting. I'm going to try and get. I know how to do it. I'm just going to try and get it. Um, well, I've seen somewhere where you can get it and stuff like that. But I'm going to see if it's possible to get the actual staff of. Um, what's, the, what's that zombie map now? Um, Origins, that's it. You know that amazing staff. I'm going to see if I can actually get that. Um, because I thought that would be really cool to have inside a, a custom zombie map. And I'm going to try and get it if it's possible to come out the mystery box. So it's like the next Wonder Waffle. Not Wonder Waffle, next. Oh, headshot. Headshot, baby. But yeah, the kind of really irritating me. Oh, guys, and this is, f if you shoot some parts of here, you can eventually wall bang them. But that, the only reason they're spazzing out like that is because I haven't put much of a uh, path for them to come in. So they, they get stuck there for some banner reason, instead of just moving up to the actual window, which they're programmed to do. Okay, now he's dropped down dead. Uh, Please no dog round. Please no dog round. I hate the dog round. I actually do, guys. Ah, oh, dog round, dog round. Yeah, the reason I hate the dog round, guys, is the dogs are actual spanners, and then it's gonna probably lag us, not lag us out, um, make me have to restart. So I'm not gonna bother. As you can see, guys, because there's no pathing, they don't do anything, and because of stupid tech color problem, this some. Stupid move, but yeah, if you get close enough, they attack. And fucking hell, do these dogs take some bullets? I don't know why they do that. I think it's to do with um, how they how they are programmed at the moment. So I gotta reprogram them. I think their health, because I think this is stupid. The amount of bullets I've got to shoot into a dog just to destroy it. But I want the tech stuff freaking fixed, guys, because this is. The texture, because this is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why I'm bobbing up and down. <laughs> but I was hoping someone in the community, because I used to, I don't know if he's, uh, well, you wouldn't be following this channel, but I used to be a follower of him. I can't find his um, YouTube again. I, but I think he follows me anyway. He built a custom zombie map before, and I was hoping that he, if he still watches, he might be able to help or something because I really need this fixing because as you can see it's just like no fun I put a lot of effort into that one room on the, t uh, the look of it and stuff it's annoying to see oh no there it goes because they get locked onto this stupid path thing here they proper dick out of the map oh, and then the last one goes out uh, duh, duh, duh. have I got enough yeah I got enough I'm just trying to think in case the actual 
messes out if I can actually just show you me getting into there so oh wonder waffle isn't that just grand I don't even know if you can wonder waffle with dogs it's another question uh -huh. Oh yeah, you can. Ah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, I thought a dog went on fire then, but I just realised we're adapted. Lol. Um, I'm just gonna open up here because I'll earn enough very quickly to get another weapon or get here. But yeah, I've opened up here. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about putting a beam from there to there just to make it look a little bit better. Because as you can see, it's not that hard to defend out of here. Like you can pretty much head glitch it. Um, and as you can see, I've proper put effort into designing this up. The only problem that I think I did was I put the, um, it's an invisible tech, um, color to the walls and stuff like that, so, um, to try and reduce down lag, but I did it to the top panel, so if you look, you can see through all that, even so, it's solid. Um, oh yeah, you got your bouncing is there for a thousand. You got PPSH there, and like the blood's glitching there. You got like a blood and stuff there. I don't know why the blood's not on the floor, even so I put it there and I made sure it was in sync, but never mind. And I'm just going to show you that everything works so far, guys. You can pretty much turn off if you really wanted to now. Um, this video might be getting boring or whatever for you. Um, and I don't, I don't blame you. I just really wanted to see if anyone knew how to fix this and the PPSH. I love it when you buy the PPSH, uh, the laugh it does. That, that always chuckles me because like, I don't know why, it's just got such a funny laugh. It's like, yeah boy. Anyway, let's get to the next. I just want to show you the bouncing betties. I know you've all seen bouncing betties guys, but I'm just trying to show you that everything's working. So I... Uh, it's nothing like any of the programming that I've done. It's some stupid thing to do with the lighting. I've changed the lights to different sizes and everything. And still, that's that's not it. So, I don't know what it is. Because when I get... See, like, look. The Wonder Waffle now is completely in picture. So, I really... Oh, shit. I went down. But anyway... I really do not get what the problem is a little bit guys. It's really driving me up the wall. Um, so I was hoping some one of you could maybe try to help me figure it out. If you do know guys, please let me know. Um, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe if you haven't. And like if you like the so far progress of it, this little map. Also let me know what you'd like in it and stuff like that. And I will try and do my best. But thanks for watching guys. 